Chuckles or Munchie? Who's got the better name <laughs> in college football? Lattimore wrapped up by Lathers, and the ball came out, but they're going to rule Lattimore down, and Lattimore is hurt. Oh, no. Marcus Lattimore holding his right knee. It was his left knee that he injured last year about this time against Mississippi State. Tore his ACL, uh, missed the rest oh. of the season, and then had the hip injury a couple of weeks ago. Oh, no. This, you feel for, for players in this situation. They went low. He's such a physical player that a lot of people go low to tackle him, and his legs take a beating. So here's Lattimore on the carry. And the linebacker Lathers comes in and hits him in the right knee. Oh, no. His foot. No. We have a rich legacy at the University of South Carolina, serving our state, nation, and the world. Discoveries that lead to healthier, more educated communities with students who push boundaries, persevere, because as a Gamecock, there are no limits to what you can achieve. Big Orange is our color. Big ideas feed the fire of the volunteer. When you see 16 million colors on a computer screen, understand a Tennessee graduate helped put them there. A Tennessee graduate made it possible for you to hold a conversation with a satellite in the palm of your hand. Our ideas touch your life in ways you can't imagine. Orange is simply a color. Big Orange is a way of life. The University of Tennessee. Big Orange, big ideas. They're still looking at the right knee of Marcus Lattimore after on the carry he got hit low. Now you, you may want to turn away here. You're welcome to watch. It's not pretty. Lattimore with lathers on top. You see number 24 in white Gordon come racing in helmet on knee. Yeah. Oh. And again, last year was the left knee, a torn ACL against Mississippi State that cost him the rest of the year. He worked so hard to come back from that injury and was having a terrific season, was shaken up a couple weeks ago with the hip injury. But they're hoping that he was over that. And the coaches told us he's 100% good to go coming into today, but these kinds obviously of, a serious injury here. Yeah, these kinds of things just they make your heart sink. You know for these kids young kids that come out of high school and, and they're playing so hard. Obviously Marcus Lattimore is one of the most talented players in all of college football. As you mentioned to fight back from one knee injury last year had some nicks this year and to and to have this happen. It just makes you feel for him for his family uh, for his future quite frankly. One of the more talented running backs in all of college football. Two years ago, as a freshman, people were talking as if he might be the best back in the country. Had 17 touchdowns and 1,200 yards as a frosh. And they've been working on him now for a good five minutes. Well, they've got to get that. Immobilized, secured that knee. How about a class move by uh, Tennessee? Also, a lot of the uh, defensive players for Tennessee coming over to check on Lattimore. They have so much respect yeah. for him, and he's a well-liked young man around the SEC. Absolutely. I mean, they respect him as a football player, respect him as a man and a person. His entire team, they just elected him captain. Right. You know, they had four seniors that were elected captain, and Marcus Lattimore was the only non-senior elected as a captain just this week. So much respect from the entire team for Marcus Lattimore. Yeah. In fact, they were supposed to do that last week because they knew Lattimore was going to win. They said, let's go ahead and do it now. Yeah. Let's vote now. They did, and Lattimore did win as the only non-senior captain, permanent captain. After they were going with the uh, alternate captains the uh, the previous eight games. Uh, and there's not a lot of players in college football that would get this kind of response both from your team but also from the other team and 
they know how hard he's worked. They know how emotional this time is for him. And so many questions now about Marcus Lattimore's future. And uh, you just feel for the young man. Some family members of Marcus from uh, Duncan, South Carolina. You can see so many of these players are visibly emotional. You know, this is one of your teammates, one of your brothers that you love so much. Players from the other side are emotional. Fans in the stands are emotional. They know what Marcus means to this team. They know how hard he's worked. And it's hard to go back to the game after something like this happens for these players. So how do the coaches handle this, especially Steve Spurrier, when it's your guy that has gone down, your leader, your best player? Well, you, you can't avoid the emotion of this. I mean, it's not just losing your best player. This is your emotional leader, and you feel for him as a person and a player. It, there's no way around it. It's hard to go back to calling plays. It's hard to go back to executing on the field, but you've got to put it aside and say, Marcus would want us to go out and continue to fight and execute and win. Standing ovation for Marcus Lattimore. Hopefully we'll see him run back out of that tunnel in the near future.